Hi there, friends. Mrs. Caulfield here to read Chapter 5 of Junie B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Boss. You may remember that Chapter 5 is called Principal, so you can imagine how excited I am to read it. After we left the nurse, we went to the main office. That's where the boss of the school lives. His name is Principal. Principal is a baldy. He talked to us. Then Lucille raised her hand. My brother said that last year he had to come down here and you yelled it at him. And now he's not allowed to beat up kids at recess anymore. Principal kind of laughed and then he held the door for us to leave. After that, we walked into the water fountain and Mrs. let us get a drink. I didn't get one though, cause kids kept tapping on me. Hurry up girl, they said. Yeah, only guess what? There's not, that's not even my name, I told them. My name, I'm sorry, her name is Junie Bumblebee, said Lucille. And then she laughed, but I did not think that was a funny joke. After that, Mrs. showed us where the bathrooms were. There's two kinds of bathrooms in our school, the boys kind and the girls kind. I can't go in the boys kind though, cause no girls allowed, that's why. I tried to peek my head in there, but Mrs. snapped at her fingers at me. The only boy who got to go into the bathroom was the boy that I can beat up. He was jiggling around very much. Then he started running all over the place and he was holding the front of his pants. William, said Mrs., are you having an emergency? Then William yelled, yes, and he ran it right into that bathroom. The rest of us walked back to our room. I touched it, Lucille's fingernails she said that her fingernail polish is named very, very, very. I would like to have my fingernails red too, but I'm only allowed to have the kind of polish that makes them look shiny. Its name is clear. Clear is the color of spit. I hate clear, said Lucille. Me too, I told her. I also told her, I hate yellow, which is the color of the stupid smelly bus. Lucille nodded her head. My brother said, when you ride home on the bus, kids pour chocolate milk on your head. Then all of a sudden my stomach got very squeezy again because I had to ride the bus home, that's why. When did you, why did you have to tell me that, Lucille? I said, kind of grouchy. After we got back to room nine, we did some more work. Uh, it was the game, um, it was a game to help us learn each person's name. I learned Lucille. I also learned Charlotte and another girl named Grace. And then I learned a boy named Ham, which we eat at Grandma Miller's. Pretty soon, Mrs. clapped her loud hands. Okay, everyone, gather up your things. It's almost time for the bell. And then I heard a noise in the parking lot. It was the screechy brakes. And so I looked it out the window and I saw the school bus and it was coming to get me. Oh no, now I'm going to get chocolate milk poured on my head. Then I chewed it on my fingers. Get in line, get in line, said Mrs. When we get outside, I want all of my bus students to come with me. The rest of you must go to the crossing guard. Everyone was lining up. I was very, the very last one, just the just then the bell rang and Mrs. marched out the door and then everyone else marched, marched out the door. Except guess what? I didn't. That was chapter five. Chapter six is called A Good Hider. Oh no. What do you think Junie B is going to get into? You'll have to wait and see. Until then, be good.